Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Appalachian Tarot. I'm so glad that you have decided to join me today. This is my first week of doing readings for YouTube so I'm very very excited to be here and I want to jump right into your reading because that's what you're here for. Uh, this is a collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius so however that resonates with you I'm thinking primarily sun signs but moon signs, rising signs, and cross watchers are all welcome as well, so I'm very glad all y'all are here. Uh, if you find this reading useful, enjoyable, or otherwise uh, feel inclined, please give me a like and go ahead and subscribe and even share this video with a friend who you think might need whatever messages are coming through. Uh, this is a collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius, I want you to go ahead and take what resonates from this reading and leave the rest. It's just for somebody else who's watching, you know, and you will know when the universe is speaking directly to you through me and through the cards, okay? Use your own intuition here to decide what messages are for you and what messages aren't. And go about it that way. Otherwise, you're just going to confuse yourself and, and you're going to tear yourself up, tie yourself in the knots about something that isn't, isn't for you. All right, I'm shuffling the Seasons of the Witch Oracle deck, which I like to begin these readings with. Seasons of the Witch is a wonderful series of Oracle decks. The most uh, seasonally appropriate deck that's out right now is the Beltane Oracle, since we are uh, just on the, the verge of spring. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Beltane Oracle to get a sense of what the universe wants to talk to you about today, Sagittarius. All right, so uh, they are having me shuffle quite a bit, though, so <laughs> uh, I, I want to make sure I get the card they want me to have for you, so we're just going to keep shuffling until... Oh, okay, here we go. We have a flipper. Um, is it just one? Yeah. Maypole. Okay. I am fertile in what I seed, for there is reason to dance and drink upon the riches I receive. Oh, it's a beautiful card. Since not all of you are going to be familiar with Seasons of the Witch, I'm going to go ahead and read from the book. Your keyword, Sagittarius, for the Maypole card is celebration. All right, let's get this party started. That was cheesy. All right. Don't wait for happiness to find you. You can choose to be happy right now at this moment. Sing, dance, spend time with loved ones and celebrate just because you're alive and you can. Focus on enjoying life and doing what gives warmth to your soul. The solution you have inquired about is still developing. Okay, or the situation you have inquired about is still developing. We don't know what that is. We're going to find out. No amount of stress or worry will fix your circumstances, but you may find yourself with a sudden spark of inspiration once you allow your doubts to fall away. Solutions can come in the most unexpected ways and will often do so when you give your fears to the universe so you can go out and play. The universe takes pride in your willingness to trust in its power and move mountains on your behalf. You will be rewarded for this trust and all will be well. Do not think you must obsess over your circumstances to overcome them, and nor must you spend every waking thought on your intentions to manifest them. Let the universe know what you need, then go and allow yourself to embrace the joys of living. All right, so the universe says it is time for Sagittarius to have some fun. You've been worrying too long. Give us your worries. Go out and play. This is a beautiful card. Um, when I said that we don't know what the situation we're inquiring about is, I suspect that many of you do know what this is already. And so I want you to meditate on that as we continue the reading. We're going to go straight to the tarot where we're going to do a traditional Celtic cross to sort of clarify this. But meditate on what it is you think the universe wants you to sort of give over to God let the universe take care of so that you can go enjoy yourself. Um, you've got some stresses in life that you can't necessarily change the circumstances of right now. So it's time. And also, I think that there is something to be said for baby steps as well. You know, um, for example, I am on a weight loss journey myself. And um, sometimes I, I kick myself because I gain a little bit of weight. Um, never enough to put me back 
from my ultimate goal, but you know, some weeks you just want to have a piece of cake um, or five pieces of cake, uh, <laughs> whatever it is. So look, you got to enjoy life. The point is that you're moving in the right direction. It, it's not necessarily a matter of how fast you're moving. What is it that they say it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. So as long as you're heading in the right direction generally, it's okay if you have some detours or some pit stops or you go in reverse for a day or two or a week or two. You just got to keep your eyes on the prize and trust that you have what it takes in order to succeed and that the universe is going to handle the rest. You have to put in your work now. You, The universe is is not a genie. I always say tarot isn't a genie. You don't rub it and get three wishes. Like It tells you sort of what you need to do in order to make your dreams come true, but it's up to you to do it. You know, the wands are in there for a reason. You know, the wands are fire. Fire is action and movement. You got to do your part, Sagittarius. But right now the universe is saying you are doing your part. Go out and enjoy yourself. Um, I'm kind of talking here just because I'm shuffling these tarot cards and nothing is... Oh, okay, here we go. All right, we got some flippers here. That's usually a sign from the universe to go ahead and stop. Um, oh, no, we've only got one flipper. I thought we had two. Okay, well, this is you right now. And you have the Six of Swords upright. Okay. Aquarius energy. Air. Thoughts, ideas, you're moving on. There's a change happening here in your life. I don't know what that change is. Um, I genuinely think you're leaving a bad situation behind for a better situation that's coming your way. Uh, that's with the Six of Swords, of course, but also with the Maypole here, where the universe is saying, it's okay, you know, give it over to God. Yeah, this, this might be cathartic in a way, you know, whatever this is. You're leaving a bad situation. There might be some sadness. Maybe you didn't want to leave this situation. Maybe you hoped it would turn out different, but you understand that it, it, it's not going to and that it is time to, to move on. Let's see what else is going on. What's blocking you right now? Oh, more swords. All right, you got the four of swords. Um, I'm going to turn it this way just for me. You've been at a standstill for a little bit of time. You... you you feel like things have not been going in the wrong direction, but they've just not been going. You've been stuck. And Sagittarius, that's never a good feeling to have, is it? But there's also this sense that you are somewhat at peace with this situation. Um, you've maybe made your peace with it. Um, possibly this situation was emotionally draining or mentally draining for you that to the point that you just burn out and were so exhausted that you couldn't, couldn't do anymore. And you sort of gave up the fight and just let things be as they were. And now is the time that you're, you're taking initiative to sort of move forward. Maybe you needed to figure out what your next steps were. Um, and there's nothing wrong with, with, with taking a moment or several moments in order to catch your breath and, and sort of recalibrate and figure out where you're at and where you're going. But I see that that's what's been happening with you, Sagittarius. Um, you've been maybe building a foundation on which you can move forward. Maybe, you know, I, I, I'm seeing like you having to like clear your own path here. And that's been part of what has made this very, uh, this, this process and this situation a little bit slower and more arduous than perhaps you had hoped it would be. But things are starting to move. You are in a period of transition right now and the universe is telling you it's okay. Take these baby steps. Trust us to remove the obstacles. You just keep going forward. And enjoy yourself while you're doing it. All right, let's see what's in your immediate past, Sagittarius. Oh, judgment. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> judgment to me is always the card of deliverance. It is the card of salvation. 
you feel as though in your recent past, and we're looking in the last three months or so, but I kind of get the feeling that this is somewhat more recent uh, within the last week to maybe several weeks, but it could be as far back as, you know, the, the start of the year or even the Christmas season, that there was something in your life that was making you very ha unhappy and that wasn't aligning with your values and your needs and you have recognized that and you feel like there is a weight lifted off of your shoulders as though you can breathe for the first time in ages. I don't know exactly what that is. I don't know if you have suddenly come to some grand epiphany about what it is you want in life. It is entirely possible that this is, you know, we've got swords blocking swords here. So this is ideas. This is the plane of ideas, thought, logic. Um, here with the judgment card, this is fire energy. So this is the plane of action, movement, progress. Um, what I am seeing here is that there are some limiting or self-limiting beliefs you have been holding that perhaps have uh, kept you from moving forward in the way the universe wants you to. And the universe is saying, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. You are enough right now. You're, you're, you don't have to wait for whatever it is that you think needs to happen in order for you to enjoy life. You're worthy of happiness right now. You're worthy of joy right now. You are enough as you are. It is good and right that you are wanting to improve yourself. And I really get the feeling with this being, you know, swords upon swords that, that there is, uh, this is about self-improvement. Um, and you may be thinking that you just aren't worthy of whatever it is that you want to set your sights towards and whatever your goals are but the universe with the maypole card is telling me that you are that you just need to bring some joy back into your life and allow yourself to feel the joy that the universe wants you to experience i don't know what these beliefs were that were holding you back but you you started to change them with the judgment card here and you are beginning uh, 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 to reckon with your demons and to wrestle with them in productive ways. And that's good. That's good, Sagittarius. Um, very, very, very proud of you. Uh, all right, let's see what's in your immediate future if nothing changes. All right, you have justice reversed. Interesting. You had judgment here and then you have justice reversed. Okay, so you have had this realization, right, that whatever your thoughts are, you're not giving yourself enough credit. You're being too hard on yourself. You're beating yourself up. Um, there's some, I'm getting the sense that there is possibly some self-loathing here, that you have some issues with self-esteem. Um, if nothing changes right now, if you don't start to embrace the joys that the universe have and to stop maybe taking life so seriously and focusing on the things that aren't working, you know, um you're just going to continue to be very, very unhappy with yourself and out of balance with yourself. Again, we have air energy here with the justice card. So I'm really getting the idea that this is about ideas. This is about thoughts, self-limiting beliefs. I think you needed to change your perspective on a few things. And I, I think you're beginning to do that. But if you don't completely do that, you're just going to end up being unfair to yourself. And you're going to continue to find yourself unhappy. This is a this is about changing perspectives here. And this is very much internal. I am not getting the feeling that this is this is somebody else that is talking down to you or uh trying to convince you that you are less than your worth. I think the I think the problem here is that you are convincing yourself that you are unworthy. When the universe is telling you that you are Right, the Maypole card is telling you you're good enough. Go out, have fun, pursue your goals. Trust that the universe has your back. You know we're gonna move mountains on your behalf. So if there are mountains in your way, don't worry about it. We got it. Now I don't know exactly what this self-limiting belief is. I don't know if, like me, you're on a weight loss journey and you feel like you just can't go ahead and get 
the weight off. Maybe you're intimidated by the gym. Maybe you are worried that you aren't going to be able to find satiating and delicious food. Uh, you know, perhaps you live in a food desert. A lot of us do. Um, but this could also be something else. This could be you wanting to, you know, go back to school. I mean, we have the air up on air right here, and then we have air right here. This could be you wanting to learn a new skill or go back to school for something and you think that you can't do it. Maybe you think you're not smart enough or you're not uh, talented enough, or maybe you're concerned about money. Um, whatever the case may be, whatever your challenge is, the universe is telling you not to worry about it. You go out and pursue your goals, have fun while you're doing it, and trust that the universe is going to provide. So let's say it is that you want to go back to school, but that you're afraid of money. There very well could be scholarships and grants out there that you're not aware of. And the universe is telling you, go ahead and trust in us that we're going to remove the barriers that are in your way. Let's see what you're conscious of here, Sagittarius. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, fantastic. All right. Yeah, you are very conscious of the fact that you... I, I, I really think this, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles here, that you are thinking about um, starting a new business or going back to school. This is material plane. Pentacles is earth energy. It's material plane. It's your finances. It's your health. It is your... Uh, job and career, um, I, I get the feeling that this might be about work for a lot of you, and that is going to manifest itself in different ways. Work doesn't necessarily have to mean your nine to five job, it could mean a side hustle that you're considering. You know, perhaps, you know, this is my first week doing videos for YouTube uh, of tarot readings, and this is just something that I wanted to do for myself. I'm not monetizing it. It's just a hobby on top of my career. So it could be something like that, that the universe is saying, go ahead and do it, you know? You don't have to be perfect, you know? I am not, uh, I don't consider myself an expert tarot reader, you know? Um, I'm somebody who started tarot relatively recently. I mean, not too recently, but... Um, I always thought, well, I can't do that. And now I'm doing it. And, you know, I'm trusting that the universe is going to make my channel a success. And how I define success is that I'm reaching the people I need to reach. I'm not necessarily worried about view count. I'm worried about speaking to people and, and giving them insights and, and, and hope. And so I, I see that with you. Like, you're you're kind of perhaps reach in higher than you need to reach. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't reach high. It means that you just aren't tall enough to quite reach there yet, and that's okay. This is the beginning of a new journey for you. And so go ahead and set your goals. Make them attainable. Uh, because, you know, achieving attainable goals is far more rewarding and fulfilling than, you know, just dreaming, you know, you got to reach the attainable goals in order to set new goals to attain. So I see the universe telling you to do that, whatever this is. And I think, like I said, for some of you, this might be starting a new business. For some of you, this might be improving your health in some way. For some of you, this is going to be going back to school, but it's definitely something like that, you know, something in the material plane and something that has to do with ideas. So I'm seeing because there's so much air energy on top of this earth energy here, I really do get the feeling that for some of you, it's about putting ideas into practice and, and really just following through on those dreams. But let's see what's really driving the situation. What's in your subconscious, Sagittarius? The Hierophant reversed. Yeah, okay. This is, again, more earth energy, um, particularly Taurus energy. But this is a card about belief systems. This is a card about uh, institutions. Reversed, I am seeing that you are possibly dealing with some sort of crisis of faith or religious trauma that is driving this. Um, a crisis of faith doesn't necessarily have to be in religion. It could be that you are rethinking your... Uh, your politics. It could be, though, that you're just rethinking your philosophy on life, and that actually jives 
with what we see here, right? We got the maypole, which is telling you to let go of those self-limiting beliefs, go out, have fun. You do you, Sagittarius, while the universe takes care of the rest. Then we have these these swords here, which, like I said, is the, the, the plane of ideas and logic. And so I, with the judgment card and the justice card, now you've got the hierophant here. I'm really getting the feeling that this is about you awakening to your own potential and that you are rethinking ideas or concepts or beliefs that have held you back and prevented you from enjoying the life that you want to lead. You are beginning to be delivered, right, with the judgment card here from whatever self-limiting beliefs have sort of kept you in this stagnant state with the Four of Swords here. Now, justice reversed here in the immediate future, if nothing changes, tells me that you have to make this change and let these beliefs go, whatever they may be, in order for you to succeed. And I think you're beginning to understand that. You're beginning to understand that you really want this new career. You want this new opportunity. Whatever it is, whatever that looks like for you, you want uh, to be healthier. You know, I'm really, I'm getting health for some of you, but that could just be me projecting onto the reading. So I'm very careful about that because I, I do see for some of you, this is career moves. This is something to do with your earthly pursuits. So you know, whatever that looks like for you. And remember I told you to meditate on that because your intuition is going to tell you what it is that this is, that you are sort of limiting yourself with. And you're going to know that better than I am. You know, I don't know who's watching this, but for each of you, this is going to look different, but really meditate on what that is. And probably the first thing you thought about when you got this maple card, which I'm going to move up here just for now so I can continue the Celtic crossbred, but whatever you, uh, oh yeah, whatever your first thought was, I do believe is probably what this reading is about, Sagittarius. So go ahead and keep meditating on that as we look at to what your control in this situation is. Okay, you have the full reverse. Wow, there's a lot of major arcana in this reading. Um, and a lot of it's reversed. All right, the full reversed. Um, so the full is, again, <laughs> air energy, uh, very much Aquarius energy. Um, you are, it, it's a card of unlimited possibilities and stepping out on faith and believing in yourself and beginning a new journey. But because it's, it's reversed, I do see that you are afraid of taking these steps. And that actually, you know, that, that echoes the Maypole card, which is telling you to let go of those limiting beliefs. You, you have to believe in yourself. You have to let go of the fear that is holding you back. Whatever it is that you are wanting to do here, and I'm, the more this goes on, the more I'm just seeing like new business or back to new career. Like this really does feel very much like you you want to pursue these these dreams on the material plane that have to do with your ideas. So you might be somebody who wants to, you know, I, I don't know. Well, I, I see this being very, very much an idea-driven industry, whatever you are doing. Maybe you're a writer. Maybe you are wanting to be an academic and study history or to study uh, medicine or to study uh, law or something and to really sort of make a change in the world with your ideas. I, I don't know what it is. You will know. But I see that you're you're afraid of, of, of taking that first step. You're afraid of stepping out on faith and the universe is telling you just do it, as the old Nike commercials used to say, you know, just do it. I don't know what, I don't know what is holding you back, but it, 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 it seems, I, I, I don't want to be dismissive here, but it does seem silly. Like, I'm getting the sense that whatever is holding you back shouldn't be. Like, it's, 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 to the rest of the world, it looks kind of ridiculous. It's like, you don't see how good you are? You don't see how much potential you have, Sagittarius? Like, what is wrong with you? We all see it. The universe sees it. Why can't you see it? I don't know. 
Let's see what the outside influences on this situation is. Okay. More air energy with the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay. Look, this is very heavy on uh, air energy, Sagittarius. And so this is definitely something about ideas. Um, I get the feeling that perhaps you haven't been entirely... That someone hasn't been entirely honest with you about something. I do get the feeling that there are people out there who are either not telling you the whole story or who are telling you that you are not good enough, that you are dreaming too big, that for people in your circumstances that this is this is a fool's errand and you need to play it safer. And the universe is telling you not to listen to them. Seven of Swords reversed. Um, Seven of Swords is one of those cards that is very contradictory to my mind. I want you to look at it here. So on the one hand, you got this guy, and he's stealing away the swords. And here, upright, it says it's betrayal, deception, getting away with something, acting strategically, trickery. Okay, to me, the Seven of Swords is always a card about mm, getting away with something, you know, sort of sneakiness, but not in a bad connotation, because it's golden. And in tarot, especially in the Rider Waite deck, uh, Rider Waite Smith deck. Um, the golden cards are almost universally good in some way, and so I I I don't really square the meaning that is on this particular deck with the Seven of Swords. To me, this is a card about somebody who, frankly, I think has good intentions in telling you to um, doubt yourself. They're trying to protect you, but they're wrong, you know? This isn't somebody who necessarily doesn't have your best interest at heart. It's just that you know better in this situation, you know? And you need to listen to yourself. And it is oftentimes much harder when it's someone who you do know has your best interest at heart that's telling you you shouldn't do something. It's harder to ignore that. But I think the universe is, is really telling you, you have to ignore the chatter. You have to listen to yourself on this. Other people don't necessarily have the full story or they don't know. Or what they are saying to you is a projection of their own fears and insecurities rather than a desire to protect you. And they may not even be aware of that. So I just want you to keep that in mind. Whoever these people are, they might have good intentions, but they have bad advice. They're offering bad advice. All right, what are your hopes and fears here? Oh, Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're very hopeful. You, you think this new situation is going to bring you a lot of uh, fulfillment. Uh, you, you are beginning to really understand. I mean, you got the judgment card here in your immediate past, which, like I said, is sort of deliverance. It's um, almost like a sudden epiphany has happened. I, I, the Ace of Pentacles up here is a very positive card. You are really beginning to step into your own confidence here, and that tracks with the uh, the Six of Swords right here, which is you in the current state, you know, where you're moving forward. You know, you're leaving behind some self-limiting beliefs here, and there's a lot of optimism here. I don't really see a whole lot of fear. I see that you're very hopeful. I believe that you're beginning to believe in yourself, Sagittarius, and that's a fantastic place to be. And you should believe in yourself. The universe wants you to believe in yourself, and I want you to believe in yourself. And I really think that even these folks who are telling you, you know, don't do this, like, they're, they're warning you. I think even they believe in you. They're just scared for you, you know? And that fear, they come by that fear genuine, and they come by their concerns, honestly, but you, you have to not listen to them. Now is the time to step out on faith, you know? And you got the fool here reversed, all right, which is your circumstances. I do see you still sort of being plagued by doubts, but the fool upright is stepping out on faith. It is beginning with a new beginning and being optimistic and trusting that you can do what it is you're setting out to do. 
with it reversed, I see that you're sort of waffling on that, but I think that you are slowly beginning to understand that you are enough. And I hope this reading perhaps is the, the catalyst for you embracing this new future that you want to make for yourself. And it is a future you're going to make with yourself. The universe is going to help you, but the universe is telling you that you really have what it takes already to, to make this dream come true. All right, and let's see what the most likely outcome is here. The Magician! Oh, how wonderful! What a powerful card! Oh, golly! Okay. Uh, oh, I'm moving the, the incense and it's, it's spilling. I don't care because you got the Magician, Sagittarius! Oh my gosh! All right. It's a very powerful card. And again, air energy. <laughs> <laughs> you you whatever this idea is that you have or these ideas you know there's there's the self limiting ideas you got to let go but this this new idea if it's a new business or a new product or you want to go back to school so that you can make a difference in the world and use your ideas to advocate for a cause that you are very passionate about um you are destined for this i mean the magician pulls together all four elements so you have the sword you have the wand you have the pinnacle you have the cup the infinity sign is above his head it's it's a it's a card of creation and manifestation creativity self-confidence i just see you being successful in whatever this this is uh, your ideas matter your dreams are valid the universe is telling you that and it's telling you that you have enough potential to succeed and they're going to remove the obstacles for you you just need to trust you need to trust in yourself and you need to trust in the universe and if you do you know, right now you're not. You've got the full reverse here. I don't think you're trusting. But if you do begin to trust, you're going to end up the magician. And I want you to look at how much Major Arcana is here. So this is a one, two, three, four, five. Fully half of the cards in this reading are Major Arcana. Major Arcana are things that are destined. You know, in my mind, if, I, 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 if you're a fan of Doctor Who, you know, the concept of fixed time, you know, in, in the canon of Doctor Who, time is this wibbly wobbly kind of thing that can be rewritten, except for very specific points in time that always have to happen exactly as they do. So, for example, in the canon of the Doctor Who TV show, Mount Vesuvius almost, I mean, it always has to erupt. No matter what else changes... Mount Vesuvius always has to erupt and bury Pompeii in ash. Okay? It always has to happen. It's tragic, but it has to happen. Um, here, I'm seeing that whatever this new idea that you have or this new goal that you're setting for yourself, this is preordained. It is divinely inspired. It is meant to happen. You are about to fulfill your purpose on this earth. Sagittarius. And that is a beautiful thing to do. And the universe is telling you, trust us. This is the right direction for you. We're going to do our part, but you need to do your part. I just see this as being absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is why you're alive, Sagittarius. Whatever this idea is, and, and I'm really thinking that... Um, that this is a new idea. This is you going back to school. I'm not seeing health as much as I as I was in the beginning. I think that was me projecting onto the reading. What I'm seeing here is this is something to do with ideas. You have this idea that you really want to run with. And whether that is writing a book, whether that is studying law, whether that is starting a new business or inventing a new product, um, it's going to be successful. And you need to go ahead and, and really embrace that and run with it. Your ideas are valid. And not only that, I think they're unique and they're good. And they could possibly improve the lives of a lot of people. So you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the universe. And 
you owe it to the world to share your gifts, Sagittarius, and you have many gifts and talents that you're not giving yourself credit for. So I want you to start believing in yourself and whatever this is. And again, I've asked you to meditate on it. So you'll know better than I am. I'm very curious. If you feel like sharing, please drop a comment below this video and let me know what this brand new idea is or what you're doing with your life. Because it looks to me like the universe is saying, we put you here specifically to do this. So go out and do it. All right. Let's end with an Oracle of Delphi card. I like to end with these cards because they are pretty to look at, first of all, and everybody likes to look at something pretty. But second of all, uh, they're very optimistic cards, typically. Not all of them, but typically they're very optimistic cards. And I always like to end readings on an optimistic note. Granted, we are just ending with an optimistic note. That Magician card is just a fantastic card to have in your, your, your likely outcome. I mean, that's, that's just beautiful energy. This whole reading is really beautiful energy. I mean, I'm just getting, I'm so excited for you, Sagittarius, like, and a little jealous, frankly, um, because whatever this is, this is the beginning of an exciting new chapter of your life. You're about to start fulfilling your, your destiny. I mean, this is a great place for you to be, and I, I'm just so happy for you, and a little jealous that I'm out there myself, but, you know, um, That'll come in time. This isn't about me. This is about you. This is your moment, and well done, you. You know, um, some of you may recognize that quote. If you do, uh, drop a comment telling me where it's from. Uh, but I've always loved that quote. Um, it's from a TV show. I'll give you a hint. But, um, all right. I'm still shuffling. The universe hasn't popped a card out yet from this oracle. It's been taking its time with you today, but that's all right. Um, maybe it needs to show you that it's okay to take time, that it's okay to go slow. You know, the maypole thing is like, this isn't going to happen overnight. Have fun. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. You know, a lot of times we, we, we stress about the process, but honestly, it's the creation of something before you launch it that is sometimes the, the best part because those are where the memories are made, you know, and that's where the, the relationships are built. Once you launch it out into the world, it's, it's, it's no longer solely yours. The world has some ownership over it. But while it's germinating and while you're working on it, it's all yours. So enjoy that. All right. Um, golly, I, we're, I'm sorry. We're just going to keep going until the universe tells me to stop and I haven't gotten a sign to stop yet. Um, but I do think that we really should end with an oracle card here. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, there's a flyer. Oh, you get two. Okay, they went flying across the room. Let me get them. All right. Your first one is empath. Feel, relate, understand, consult. Yeah, you're somebody who is extremely empathetic and somebody who wants to make the world a better place. And that, 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 that squares with the rest of the reading about your ideas. I think your ideas have the potential to change the world. Um, whether that means just changing your town and like the immediate people in your life and um, changing other people's lives on an individual basis, or whether that means you're going to end up like, I don't know, the best president that we've ever had. Um, or the best prime minister of your country that you've ever had. You know, I don't, I don't know what that means. What I do know is that you're somebody whose ideas are important, valid, and that the universe puts you here in order for you to use these ideas and to bring them to fruition to make the world a better place. So we have the empath card, which is just beautiful. I love that rose there, you know. It's just gorgeous. Um, and then the next one we have is Dreamweaver emergence, wish, visualize, conceive. Yeah, okay, you look at the tiger, the white tiger, so powerful in front of the moon. Like, look, you are here for this purpose. This is why you're on earth. Whatever this idea is, whatever this business is, whatever this new skill you're wanting to pursue, you know, you're wanting to, to change the world and you're going to do it. You, you are the uh, master of your own destiny here. The universe is, is going to help you, but ultimately it's in your hands. And, and, and that sounds scary, but you have all the tools you need in order to be successful and to make your dreams come true. You're weaving your own dreams. Your wishes are real. You know, you are conceiving your own future here. You just need to visualize it. Maybe start a vision board. 
you know, I, I, I've never done a vision board before, but I'm considering doing one for myself because I hear they're very helpful. I know they're sort of, they, they have this bad reputation, but think about like having a vision board on your wall so that every day you're looking at it and reminding yourself of what your goals are and why you're doing it, you know? So maybe that's something that you should consider. Oh, Sagittarius, what a great reading this has been. I'm so happy for you. I love it when I get to do readings like this where I'm just like, you go on with your bad self. Like, you're doing well. You're doing very, very well, Sagittarius. You're on the right track. So just keep going. Trust in the universe. And most importantly, believe in yourself because you are the magician. You are the magician. And the magician is one of, if not, along with the high priestess, the most powerful cards in all of tarot. So I just think that's a fantastic way to end this reading. Uh, Sagittarius, good luck to you. And let me know how it goes. I'm very interested to hear what your ideas are and, you know, how, how you succeed. Maybe save this video in a year from now. Uh, tell me, tell me what's happened. I, I, I just, I, I think we could all use good news and we could all use a chance to celebrate your success, you know. Life is so much better when we're celebrating the successes of others rather than, rather than trying to tear them down. So I, I'm just incredibly happy for you, Sagittarius, and thank you for, for letting me uh, do this reading for you because this is really, uh, like, just doing this reading for you has made me happy, you know, and if just doing this reading has made me happy, imagine what happens when you go out and you put this idea into action and you bring these ideas into fruition. Think about how many people you're going to make happy and how many lives you could change. You know, you could really make this world a better place. And like I said, that may just be your immediate friends and family. That could be your town or it could be a whole country or a whole world, the whole earth. You know, I don't know, but there's a lot of potential here. And however that looks for you the universe is saying you were put on this earth to do it. And like I said, you've made me happy just letting me do this reading. Imagine how many other lives that you can, you can make happy. So good for you, Sagittarius. This is fantastic. Uh, best of luck to you and, uh, do keep me updated until next week. Uh, ta-ta for now.